Hello, dear children. Now we are continuing with this uh, chapter called Cost and Revenue Analysis. So today we will discuss in this video regarding marginal cost. Okay. So what is marginal cost? Marginal cost is actually the additional cost that is incurred because of additional uh, unit of output. Okay. If you produce uh, any additional unit of any uh, product or uh, any goods and services that is called marginal cost so it is just the addition to the total cost okay for producing extra unit of output okay so mathematically you can find uh, marginal cost as this way okay so marginal cost to the nth term okay uh, i mean uh, n number of uh, output okay and this uh, total cost that is n number of output minus total cost n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 is actually referring to the additional unit of output okay which you are producing or you can also find marginal cost as this way that is change in total cost divided by change in total quantity okay and remember that this change in total cost by change in quantity it represents the slope of total cost curve so uh, we all have seen that it is inverted s shaped isn't it so this total cost curve isn't it so the slope of this total cost curve is change in total cost divided by change in quantity okay so diagrammatically you can find mc for any level of output by taking the slope of tc to that corresponding level of output okay let me just show you with this uh, pc curve out here okay so we all know that change in total cost by change in quantity it represents the slope of the total cost okay it represents the slope of this green line okay so you can uh, ascertain mc by taking the corresponding level of output okay so the output it can be uh, out here okay or it can be out here also okay or it can be out here okay so on any point on tfc if you want to calculate uh, mc you can find this way okay Now this is your uh, MC curve. You can have a look at this. Okay, so MC curve is U-shaped. Okay, so you can see out here, MC curve uh, initially it decreases. Okay, reaches the minimum point, and again it increases. So why this MC curve is U-shaped? Again, law of increasing returns, decreasing returns. And also the application of law of variable proportions okay so law of returns and law of variable proportions are applicable out here okay so in this uh, chapter whatever the cost that we have discussed out there the two uh, laws okay or two uh, concepts that is law of returns and the law of variable proportions are applicable previously it uh, decreases mc decreases because of the increasing returns okay but mc afterwards after reaching this minimum point it increases because of the decreasing returns okay and here at this point uh, if you're talking about the law of variable proportion here up to this point up to the minimum point sorry uh, in this minimum point the fixed uh, factors will be better utilized okay and when mc is uh, sloping downwards here fixed factor remains underutilized okay so when mc is uh, sloping upwards it means that fixed factors are overutilized okay or you can say overcrowding okay so that is the observation from mc curve okay and why the mc curve is u shaped okay now 
Okay, so we can make the observation from the above uh, MC curve out here. Okay, so we all know that MC has nothing to do with FC. Okay, and MC is only incurred when there is output. When there is no output, there will be no MC. That is, when output is zero, MC is also zero. Okay, so when output is increasing, MC is also increasing. Okay, when output is decreasing, MC, of course, it will increase or decrease uh, referring to the uh, level out here, okay, where it is lying out here, okay. Now, fixed cost, we all know that it remains constant whether the output uh, is zero or whether the output is increasing or decreasing. Fixed cost, it will remain same, okay, and hence we can say that MC has nothing to do with FC. And please remember that we are discussing all these uh, theories, okay, this total cost, average cost, and this marginal cost in respect to the short run, okay. Long run analysis is removed from the syllabus for this year, okay. Now, uh, MC curve is derived, sorry, MC curve, uh, MC curve derived from TVC curve is the same as derived from TC curve. So, what does this mean? Let us go back to this curve. Okay. So, whatever the uh, MC that you uh, derive out here, okay, be it from the TC or be it from the TVC, it will be same. Okay. If you uh, take out MC out of the TC, okay, if you derive it MC from TC, let us suppose uh, it is 1, okay. If you derive uh, MC out of TC, let us say it is 1, and again you derive uh, MC out of TVC, again it will be 1. So hence we can say that MC that is derived from TC is equals to MC derived from TVC, okay. And because of this, we can say that this MC is common to both AVC and ATC curve. So let us go back to uh, AVC and ATC curve again. So this MC is uh, common to both AVC and ATC. So in the previous video also I had said that this is your ATC curve, okay? AC or ATC, whatever you want to say, okay? So uh, this MC is common to both this AC and ABC. And remember that MC curve cuts ABC curve and ATC curve at their minimum points. So you can see uh, out here that this is your ATC curve, okay? This green line is your ATC curve and this uh, this is purple, I guess. Uh, this is your uh, AVC curve and this red one is MC curve. So, you can see from this graph that this point is the minimum point of ATC and this point is the minimum point of AVC. So, MC curve is intersecting, okay? Both these ATC and AVC at their minimum points, okay? At their respective minimum points, okay? And uh, let us see out here. Okay, so MC curve is uh, U-shaped. MC curve is U-shaped. And why MC curve is U-shaped, we have already discussed out here that it is because of the increasing returns and decreasing returns. And again, law of variable proportions. Okay. So TVC is the sum total of MC of various units of output. So if you want to uh, calculate TVC, okay, so TVC equals to the summation of MC. Okay. Now, what is the relationship between AC and MC? So, there are three relations. We can see it out here. It's very simple. When MC is less than AC, AC falls with increase in output. So, why this falls with uh, increase in output? Now, why AC is uh, falling with increase in output? Because 
AC curve, it slopes down. Okay, so we know that AC is falling down because AMC is downward sloping. You can see from this picture that with increase in output, okay, up to a certain point, obviously, uh, when average cost, including both this uh, ATC, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, ATC, okay, so just refer to this uh, green line, okay, so green line and the red line, okay, so ignore this uh, purple color. So when uh, MC is less than, when MC is less than, ATC, AC, average cost, it falls down because AMC is also downward sloping. So because of this reason, AC curve is downward sloping. So basically you can say because AMC curve is downward sloping, AC curve is also downward sloping. Okay. So now when AMC is more than AC, now you can see it out here in this graph that when AMC is more than AC. Okay. So when AMC is more than AC, AC curve, it increases with increase in output because MC curve is also upward sloping. Okay, so AC curve, it slopes uh, upwards because MC curve is upward sloping. Okay, and when MC, okay, at this point, okay, so when MC is equals to ATC, AC is constant. Okay, so please don't get confused when I am saying AC or ATC, okay, they both refer the same thing, okay, whether you talk about average cost or average total cost, it means the same, okay. So you can see here in this graph that when MC is equals to ATC, ATC is constant, okay. So now, what are the observations? So the observations are the same thing that we have discussed out here, whatever the relationship is there, okay. So what is the observation? So final uh, remark, okay? What you have observed from this relationship? So we have observed that this relationship between AC and MC is only about the direction of movement of AC and the magnitude of MC. What is this actually? So because of the magnitude, okay? Because of the magnitude of MC, the direction of ATC curve will be ascertained okay so uh, if mc is downward sloping atc will also be downward sloping okay so it depends upon the magnitude okay by what magnitude M, uh, your uh, mc is decreasing or increasing okay so mc is increasing or decreasing then that increase or decrease that that magnitude will define or determine the direction of ATC curve. Okay, so whether the ATC curve will be downward sloping or upward sloping, it will be defined or determined by the magnitude of MC. Okay, it is not the other way. Okay, so because of the, oh sorry, you cannot say uh, that uh, because of the magnitude of uh, AC, the direction of uh, uh, MC is determined. No, it is not possible. Okay, it can never be uh, that way. Okay, so it is only about the direction of the movement of AC because of the magnitude of MC. Okay, it is the same thing. It is because of the same thing, this, this one. AC curve, it slopes downwards because MC is downward sloping. Okay, it's very simple. And now when uh, AC is U-shaped, okay, so when AC curve is U-shaped, the corresponding MC curve will also be U-shaped. So out here you can see in this picture that uh, your AC curve is U-shaped. So hence MC curve will also be U-shaped, okay? Because of the application of law of variable proportions and law of returns, increasing returns and decreasing returns, okay? So now MC curve it cuts AC curve at its minimum point. So here you can see that ATC curve has been intersected or it, uh, this MC curve is cutting. ATC curve at this point. Okay, so it is the same thing. And uh, in your book, there is an uh, interesting uh, figure also given out here that uh, this marginal cost. Okay, I mean the to understand the relationship between uh, AC and MC. 
when m this is your marginal cost okay so this is your average cost okay when mc is uh, constant they both are equal okay so ac is equals to mc which means that, that ac is constant okay and when uh, mc sorry and when you can say that mc is rising ac is also rising okay when ac is rising mc is also rising but don't uh, uh, try to understand this way okay because m sorry because ac is uh, increasing mc also increases okay you can say that way but it will be better that because of the increase in the mc ac is also increases ac also increases so you can see out here that it's about the direction of the movement of ac and the magnitude of mc so because of mc ac will be affected okay so when mc is increasing ac is also increasing and when uh, mc falls ac also falls it's very simple okay so there are only three relationship so i hope you have understood uh, in the next video we will discuss about revenue okay